Well, I sent you a Japanese flag from World War II, and it came into my possession through, well, family passing. It belonged, from what, I, from what I'm told, is my great uncle brought that back, and not much was really known about it. Um, the family knew it existed, and it came into my possession in kind of a weird way. My sister ended up with it in a box of goodies. And then I, she passed it to me, and I started doing a little research and found out what it really is, you know. And it, it kind of hit me deep, you know. I was like, this, this should be elsewhere. It shouldn't, you know, it belongs belongs to that family, not ours. Um, and that's pretty much when I contacted you guys. You know, I was pretty pretty disappointed to hear that his family had, you know, all passed from the sounds of it, and it seemed kind of unfair because I have, let's see, my in in that exact circle of family, my grandfather and all three of his brothers all went to World War II. Obviously, in the Pacific Theater with a last name like that, <laughs> and all of them managed to survive. And, you know, then I hear this entire, this guy's entire family was wiped out. And that, that really struck a nerve with me. It's pretty sad. Well, I hope it brings their communities some peace, basically, you know, some some resolution and, you know, any hard feelings, you know, maybe it'll help resolve a little, little bit of that for them as well. You know, they lost a lot of family and I feel for them. You know, war is terrible. You know, it's governments against governments and families get hurt in the process. So, And, and in fact, evidently wiped out you know and that's that's the ultimate sad part for me you know finding out that his entire family was basically wiped out just doesn't sit very well with me you know when i when i discovered what the flag really was and had it translated and everything it it it, it hit a deep nerve with me then and then when i found out he was his family was gone it's just it sucks <laughs> 